And Kalen DeBoer kind enough to join us after that remarkable win. And coach, thank you so much for coming out to, to visit with us here. Uh, I, I find it interesting. The Michigan game and your game come down to a play that had to be made by the defense. Their defense is kind of their rep, right? You're more known for your offense. How pleased are you for your defense that they were the ones that had to stand tall and walk you off that field as winners tonight? Yeah, you know, they've had to do it quite a few times this year. Um, our, our offense does a lot, and I know they get a lot of attention, and as they should, but uh, our defense has had to make uh, timely plays and, and come through in big moments. And so um, super proud of them. Um, you know, I think uh, – all the experiences we've had uh, came through even tonight uh, on that last drive. Uh, just staying in the staying in the battle and and uh, you know continue to keep the faith. You you mentioned that on the field and now one more time with with me here that you've been through these moments. You've been in close games. Is that what allows you, Kalen, to maintain the kind of demeanor, at least outwardly, where you seem incredibly calm in moments where I would be a puddle. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's, uh, it's intense, right? But, uh, you know, I just, I think, what's it do? You just got to stay sharp and you got to stay focused on the main thing. And that's just continuing to, you know, just keep coaching. And uh, I think my demeanor uh, is important in carrying that on with our players and uh, our staff. And so, um, been through it a lot of times and uh, just, you know, making sure um, that, uh, you know, we just focus on the next play. And uh, the highs and the lows of the game can't get up and caught, caught up in the emotions of it. Um, just do it, take care of what you can control. I've heard the story. Sean McDonough talked about it. February, it's cold. You look out and your guys are out there outside <laughs> practicing. <laughs> and uh, it, it was hard enough for you to get that thing in your ear and now those guys knock it out, right? <laughs> but uh, the, the story. Yeah, I know. The, I know. It's all the, good. The story about the, your guys in February and the cold and, and they came back for this. And all of that makes for a great, you know, story and made-for-TV movie. But, like, real-life stuff has to happen, right, Kalen? Like, through summer, through the fall. All, it just doesn't happen because everybody wants it to because it's hard as hell to win. What's the fabric of this group? What's yeah. the DNA of this group that shows itself time and time again? Yeah, I think you just nailed it. Um, and that's what we talked about after the game is a year ago, um, so many guys made sacrifices and just, um, you know, really, really made commitments to each other. And, uh, you know, a lot of people do that, right, in life, yeah. uh, in sports. And these guys, you know, they just every single day brought their absolute best. And that was the challenge just over and over again that I and the staff just continue to put in front of them is, you know, are, are you looking back on today? And did you just get through it or did you bring out the best in yourself and did you make our team better? And so, um, again, I, they've done that. I thought this last month, you know, it can be long. And uh, we didn't try to put a schedule together where they could stay fresh and stay sharp and we could build up to this day. Um, but, you know, credit to them, you know, just uh, as the week went on this week, you could just feel like just a locked in focus and the energy wasn't over the top. The emotions weren't over the top. Um, the work was there, and it supported the goals that they had and set forth a year ago when, again, most of these guys made uh, commitments and sacrifices, maybe not to move on to the NFL, stick around, and try to finish the job. There's a saying in this game, and you've made your rep as a play caller on offense, right? There, there's, a, there's a saying, players, not plays. When you got a player like Michael Penix, how, how, much, how much easier does that make it to dial up a play? <laughs> Yeah, I think many times, even tonight, uh, but over the course of Michael's two years here, um, you just always want to make sure that nine um, has a chance to, to make a play for you. You know, get nine the ball. Um, you know, and a lot of times, uh, you know, when drive stall, you kind of look back on it and you're like, man, okay, did we give nine enough chance, uh, you know, to go out there and, and win that drive and get points on the board or win the football game? And uh, so, you know, he just does an amazing job of, every play you know just putting so much pressure on the defense and um, you know you, you have to keep it in attack mode and I think that's the the thing I love about uh, what we do um, we attack in a lot of different ways um, it's our mindset and uh, you know I think that carries over to the, the defense too and uh, they come out there and attack and and do their part uh, every single week just your first thought about what it, what it will be like to share the field with them and whatever will require next Monday 
Yeah, we, we understand. Uh, you know, you get to the Final Four, and it's one thing. You get to a national championship, um, I mean, it's the best of the best. You know, uh, these guys have been through um, everything that we've been through. You know, yep. their game today, uh, going into to overtime, um, you know, they're, uh, they're resilient as well. And, uh, you know, I think from our own standpoint, just I can feel it in our team. Um, we've, we've adopted kind of one of the slogans is job's not done. And this was quite a few weeks ago. Uh, and, you know, I just think that even in the locker room right now, you know, the emotions are great. We're excited. But, you know, it's not over the top. Um, I think maybe earlier in the year um, we had a game uh, where that happened. You know, um, Oregon at home, I think, was an emotional game. Uh, a lot of people just loving what we accomplished. Um, I don't think we got caught up in ourselves, but a lot of emotion. And then the carryover, um, just trying to be our best the next week maybe didn't happen. I think ever since then we've understood, hey, job's not done. Next game, moving forward. And, uh, you know, I think we've learned a lot uh, about ourselves and how to handle these situations when we get these big wins. I'll close with a final thought. Everyone has a journey in life, right, Kalen? And, and yours I find really, really interesting. And I appreciate that you're a leader of a team, and I appreciate that it's a program that takes the field uh, representing Washington. But when you walk out on the field Monday, just for you, how much of Sioux Falls you bring with you and, and the, you know, the, the journey that really started on a football field in South Dakota? How much of that you bring with you to Texas and a, a chance to win a national title? Yeah, um, we all have our journeys. Yeah. And, yeah, the, in particular mine, um, you know, that's, uh, that's a piece. I mean, I think a lot of it's the experiences, you know. And from, from a coaching standpoint, one of the things that I just love about a national championship game is you know this is your last game. You know, that's the hard part about a playoff. And having experienced it so many years, you just don't know when you go into a, a day, uh, a game, um, you know, if this is going to be it. And uh, you don't think that way. You don't want to think that way. Um, but that is reality. And uh, the best thing about playing in a national championship game is, is this is the last one. And uh, your guys that are seniors and guys that are moving on uh, with, their, with their lives and careers, um, you know, they're just going to sell out here these last seven days to do something special together. Uh, enjoy the moment, but, uh, man, let's take advantage of uh, what the position is that we've put ourselves in. You know what I love so much about sports, Kalen, is that you, both sides woke up hoping for 60 more minutes of football, and you appreciate the disappointment on the Texas side, but your guys earned the 60 you get next week. Yeah. Enjoy them, man. Make them count. I appreciate you taking a minute with me tonight. Congratulations on the win. Happy New Year. Yeah, my pleasure. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. Give something.